Welcome to the ITC Oats and Oracle Flow Builder Future Series. This video explains controlling virtual users in OLT. To add script profiles to the scenario list, first open a new or safe scenario file. Then select the Build Scenario tab and the repository and workspace containing the profile you want to add and select the script and click to the scenario tab. Here, enter the number of virtual users, for example 5, and click on Add to Autopilot button. In this window, specify the virtual user ramp up specifications. Here we have specified the number as 5. We can give this in any combinations you wish the scenario should perform. Then click on the Run Test button and provide a session name. And then click OK. This will navigate you to the Watch View Grid tab. As you can see in the build scenario, the total views are 5 and in the setup autopilot we have specified 4 in the virtual user ramp. Therefore, in watch view grid, it initially takes the first 4 users and then continues running next users until the earlier 2 moves to the next step. Observe the tabs. We have profile, status, iterations, fail, last runtime, current step, and so on. The status bar on the current step tab changes as the load test script runs. It can change from starting to think time delay running and to finish when the scenario is completed. And the current step tab initially will be login and will change as the scenario script runs. If you go to the setup autopilot and look under submitted scenarios profile, you will see the VU status as 10 as well as the finished ones. We also have the view run graphs. This tab is refreshed according to what is set in the graph refresh interval settings in the report options. To stop the display from being refreshed, click the pause button, and to resume, click the resume button. Use the create reports tab to view reports and graphs after the load test has finished running. You can view the performance statistics report by selecting the view run graphs reports or view. And here, show server times only or show end to end times, include things time. The statistics show the values for the following performance categories. Session name, current, active virtual users, virtual users with errors, transactions per second, and pages per second. Under the detail level, we have the profile name, minimum, maximum, average, pass, and fail. This concludes our tutorial on how to control virtual users in OLT. Thank you.